everyone, I'm Sarah with the Hobby Lobby Creative Studio. Are you tired of attempting to cut straight lines in your fabric using scissors alone? Well, did you know there's a set of tools that will help you get perfect straight cuts every time you use them? In this tutorial, I'll teach you the basics of using the rotary cutter, the cutting mat, and a grid ruler so you can get your sew on. Stick around. The rotary cutter, cutting mat, and grid ruler are three tools that make measuring and cutting straight lines across your fabric a breeze. Today I'll be cutting out two 13 by 13 inch squares of fabric that I can sew into a pillow later. But before we get started, here's a few quick tips to keep in mind whenever you head to the store to pick out your fabric. One, be aware of the direction the design on your fabric runs and how you want it to run on your project. This will help you determine how much fabric you need. Two, fabric is sold by the yard, which is 36 inches. You can purchase as little as an eighth of a yard, which comes out to be four and a half inches, or as much as the whole bolt. I'll be starting with half a yard of fabric today. And three, typically fabric is 45 inches wide and comes off the bolt folded in half. Sometimes fabrics do come in smaller or larger widths, so make sure to double check so you don't come up short. Overbuying is better than not having enough. Now that you know how to navigate the fabric selections, let's talk about getting started on your project. Don't let the cutting mat and this crazy pizza cutter looking thing scare you. Once you know how to properly use these tools, they'll become your best friends. So let's gather our supplies. Here's what we're using. A 24 inch by 36 inch self healing rotary mat, a six inch by 24 inch clear grid ruler, a 45 millimeter rotary cutter, and your fabric. There are several styles of rotary cutters and rulers to choose from. Some have different features like a curved handle or raised edges, so just choose whichever you prefer. They all work about the same way no matter which style you choose to buy. So now let me explain how your cutting mat and your ruler work together. As you can see, the mat is covered in tiny squares. Each square represents one inch. The same is true on your ruler. Your ruler is clear so you can line the ruler lines up with your mat and know exactly where you're cutting. In case you don't want to cut off a specific part of your fabric's design and so you can easily measure smaller sizes at a glance. Knowing how to correctly line up your ruler, mat, and fabric is crucial to getting perfectly straight cuts. So let's begin by lining up our fabric on our mat. Like I mentioned before, the fabric comes off of the bolt folded so just keep it folded for now. You'll notice the edge of the fabric opposite the fold is generally white with writing on it. This is called a selvage edge. You'll end up cutting off the selvage edge before you're done. Lay your fabric out with the fold at the bottom and selvage edge at the top. Now take the bottom edge and fold it up to meet the top edge. Make sure and line the edges up as close as possible. Folding this way gives us four layers of fabric. It's best not to cut through more than four layers at a time. Trying to cut through more could cause your fabric and your ruler to slip around and could dull your blade quickly. So if you ever notice that your blade is having trouble cleanly and easily cutting through multiple layers of fabric, it may be time for a tune-up. Replacement blades and sharpeners are available. Next, line the bottom folded edge of your fabric up with the one inch line across the bottom of your cutting mat and the left side of your fabric with the zero line on the left side of your cutting mat. I'm placing it along the one inch line to give myself some more cutting room down here at the bottom edge. Now, look at where the right uneven edge of your fabric passes the nearest vertical line on the mat. For me, that's going to be the 18 inch line. You may need to scoot your fabric right or left just a tad so you're cutting off the least amount of fabric necessary. Make sure the bottom edge is still lined up perfectly on the one inch line. Then, place your ruler on top of your fabric. Lining up the right edge of the ruler with that same 18 inch vertical line on your mat or whichever line applies to you. Now it's time to cut. 
Always use extreme caution when using this cutter. The blade is very sharp. When you squeeze the handle on the cutter, it reveals the blade. Be sure to hold the ruler firmly in place with your left hand. You're going to put the blade right next to the edge of the ruler below the bottom edge of the fabric. Pushing down and away from your body, keep the blade running alongside your ruler and cut all the way past the end of your fabric. This should give you a nice, clean, perfect cut. Before moving your ruler though, double check that the cut went through all four layers of fabric. If it didn't, just make another pass with the blade. Now that we have a perfect edge, let's cut the other end. Flip your fabric over and align everything in the lower left corner of the mat the same way you did before. This time, since we want 13 inch squares, line up your ruler with a 13 inch line on your mat. Hold down your ruler and make your second cut. Straight as an arrow. Now that we have clean straight cuts on two of our edges, we'll get rid of the selvage edge next and make our final cuts to get our squares. Grab the top two layers with selvage edges and unfold your fabric. Rotate the fabric so your selvage edges are on the right side and fold the fabric upward, lining up the top edges carefully. Now, align for the cut just like you did before with the selvage edges just crossing over the nearest vertical line. Line up your ruler, hold it down, and cut away. Flip your fabric over so the edge you just cut is now on the left. Line up the left edge on the zero line and the bottom edge on the one inch line. To finish out our 13 inch square, again, line the ruler up on the 13 inch vertical line and make the cut. Flipping the fabric this last time leaves you with the largest piece of leftover fabric possible that can be saved for your next project. And there you have it, two perfect 13 inch by 13 inch squares ready to be sewn into a pillow. Be sure to check out our zipper pillow tutorial to learn how to finish it all out. It's as easy as that. No more using scissors and failing miserably at trying to cut out a straight line. That's all for today, everyone. Thanks for watching.